Hello my friends and welcome into the video today in which I am in honor of the Sephora sale. I am sharing with you my top seven foundations and I am sharing six concealers and I'm sharing two powders. And the reason that I didn't want to go into a ton of stuff here is because the same things will be with everybody. Foundations are what everybody is trying to look for the holy grail for and concealer too because we have such a hard time as we hit menopause over 50 years old we just have a hard time finding the right thing but i think i found some really good ones so before we get started i have a numbering system a number goes up right here on the screen that will correspond with whatever product that i'm talking about at that moment you don't have to remember the product remember the number go down into the description box and it will be the product will be next to that number and the link will be there too if you'd like to shop that way also it will be in the first pinned comment down below in the comment section i also always tell you what i have on for a top because i get asked every single time and and jewelry fingernails all that and i'll show you really quickly this is a picture but all of that including the other makeup that i have on will be listed and linked down below as well for you we're going to get into some speed reviews of foundation that I love that you can find at Sephora during the sale. All right, everybody's into tinted hydrators. However, I don't usually gravitate too much towards it because I have a lot of imperfections on my skin. Keep in mind, using a small amount with a moisturizer or a primer, you can easily turn any foundation into a skin tint. Also, I have very dry skin so that you know that as well. I first want to share with you the least expensive foundation in this video, but it is a fantastic foundation, especially if you're somebody that likes a full coverage, but you like it to look like skin. It is the Sephora brand collection, best skin ever. This one says it's a long wear foundation with a perfect natural finish and it's anti-pollution. And I don't know about the anti-pollution part, but I know that it's a very perfecting foundation it is a little bit more heavy than other foundations because it has that full coverage but you know when you're looking at full coverage that's what you end up getting now i will say that a tiny bit of this goes a long way in its coverage it's a really great coverage foundation but it doesn't feel super heavy on your skin as you're using it and that's what i like about it very very long wearing this is super duper long wearing foundation so if you've been looking for one and your foundation is breaking up during the day just know that this is really good but i will caution you that this is like estee lauder where estee where bleh, 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 bleh. this is like estee lauder double wear in that coverage and that full coverage so a tiny bit will go a long way on mature skin next one is one that came out very recently it's the huda beauty easy blur foundation and i do feel like this lives up to its name natural airbrushed foundation this will airbrush your skin it will make your skin look like skin and i feel like this one is one of those ones that perfects and really blurs out your pores and doesn't show any texture it's very pretty i know that there are a lot of dry gals that say that they have a hard time with this one because it does cling to their dry patches i think that what's happening there is if you are using the primer that comes with this that primer has no silicones in it so you're not getting the lock in of your moisturizer so i think that's what's happening i would use a different primer than the original one so i use just one of my regular old primers and this looks gorgeous and i don't have any problem with it catching my dry patches but boy does it perfect and smooth out the wrinkles and the big pores and everything it's a very very pretty foundation the next one is one in that same league with blurring everything out and this is from house labs and it's their triclone foundation this has something like six different silicones or dimethicones in it it has a ton in there so if you're again wanting there to be that very blurring look across your skin you're going to love this and this one is only a medium coverage so you can build this up if you want to and you know share it out if you want to as well and i feel like because of all of those blurring properties in it this is a mature woman's friend because she's going to be able to hide her texture and her large pores and this one to me is very long wearing as well love that when she first campaigned for this it was campaigned towards mature skin because we do have so many more imperfections than just that you know baby like skin that the 20 year olds have so this one is one that all 
also gets my rave review. If you like a foundation that has a natural dewy finish to it, the Dior Forever Skin Glow is one that I highly recommend. Now this one is not going to be as perfecting. It's not going to hide your texture as much, but the finish on this is beautiful. If you love that little bit of a sheen on your face, if you feel like that hides a little bit of your imperfections more, this is going to be one that you like. This one is very long wearing as well. My problem with this one was that I had a little bit of a hard time finding a shade that I could get cool enough, but I did love the finish of this one and I did love how long this one stayed on my skin. But if you're somebody that doesn't like the glow, they have the other, formula that is more along the matte side as well. Beautiful foundation. Dior really does great things with all of their foundations. And I don't have it in here, but I'm going to mention it right now. Dior's new stick foundation, I have been working with this whole entire week, and I can say that it is a beautiful foundation. Now that one is almost a matte foundation. So if you're somebody that doesn't like matte foundations, you know, you might not want to go for that. But I did find that the way that that spread across my mature skin was absolutely perfection. I know that sometimes stick foundations, it's not a great value, but that is a beautiful perfecting foundation and I wanted to comment on it as well. And then another one that is a like a skin tint, this is the Stay Urban Decay Stay Naked Tinted Glow Hydrator with medium coverage up to 24 hour wear. This is the one that I was super impressed with. And I know that Urban Decay, you can get at Ulta and other places as well. But I wanted to put this one in here because I feel like this one right here, as far as the medium coverage and the glow and the coverage and how long it lasts, this one checks off every single box and this is gorgeous. This is a very, very good color for me as well. I was very pleased with that. And it's super light. The foundation itself feels so hydrating. I was so impressed with that. I love a good hydrating foundation and I love one that perfects my skin at the same time. And this one checks off those boxes as well. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk is one that you will hear a lot of women talk about in the mature beauty community that do talk about higher end foundations for a reason. This is one of those ones that you can have it on all day and it looks like you've just put it on. It's that pretty and it's that fresh looking. And it does look like a silky canvas across your skin as you're putting it on and it's blurring everything out. Again, medium to buildable coverage, but with a very natural, pretty finish to it, especially on mature skin. Now my number one, and this remains my number one for years and years, that it's from Shiseido. This is the Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. And I think that's pretty much all it says. It's oil-free and it has a broad spectrum of 30. I love this foundation. I purchased this foundation probably 10 years ago before I even had my channel and I've never gone away from it. It's a foundation that I can go to any event and have my foundation look absolutely skin-like, be there all day long and nothing to worry about. It is that a little bit thicker coverage, but I just use a small amount and it goes across my skin and it blurs out. This is one of those ones that it doesn't matter how I wear it. If I wear it in the summer with a primer or in a setting spray, or if I wear it in the winter when I'm not wearing, you know, as much coverage and, and I don't want my skin to look like a mask, this is in, an incredible foundation. So tiny bit of this goes a long way as well. I'm going to tell you that this is probably more along the lines of a demi matte. So this is more matte than probably anything else that I've talked about today. But for me, when I don't want any pores to show up, I don't want any texture to show up, I don't want any settling, this is gonna be the one that I reach for. It's such a pretty foundation. Let's go over to our concealers very quickly. Again, I need a full coverage concealer. I find that people that look for a concealer aren't necessarily looking for light coverage. They're looking for something that can really take care of their dark under eyes because I have inherited super duper dark under eyes and it drives me insane. And if I can't get a lightweight, buildable, full coverage concealer that doesn't crack or settle into my super troughs that I have here and the super heavy wrinkles that I have here, then I'm not going to like it at all. So Kosas and Natasha Denona and 
Hourglass. These three, I'm going to put them up here at the same time because they're basically like the same concealer as far as the way they cover and how what their thickness is and then how they stay on. Now, I will tell you that the Natasha Denona probably self-sets better than any of these other two. So if you're looking for something that you don't have to use very much powder on at all and you want to just use a tiny amount, you're going to need to use a tiny amount of all these. I don't want you to use very much at all. This one is probably a little bit thinner, but it probably sets a little bit better. But again, no creasing on any of these. This is the Hourglass Veil one. I can't remember the name of it. I never remember the name. And you're going to see that these are all different colors. There's like peach undertones and then you got a neutral undertone and you might have a yellow undertone. I don't find that I have to get the exact color for me because each of these will color correct underneath my eyes and then, you know, blurring them out, it really does just kind of blur into my foundation. So that's nice. So all three of these, I just want to tell you, they're all three fantastic, fabulous, there is the Dior Forever Skin, and then there is the Tula one, and then my very favorite of all time is from Tower 28, and I'm gonna put this one down just for a second. The Dior Forever Skin Concealer is one that I feel like moisturizes or hydrates at the same time of giving you the most fabulous coverage of all of these. This one is a little bit thicker, I will tell you that too, a little bit thicker than the other ones, but it is absolutely a perfecting. You're not gonna have any of your under eye discoloration peek through at all. I'm telling you, this is so good. Okay, er, Tula isn't sold at Sephora. Tula is only sold at Ulta. Whoops, okay, but I'm gonna tell you about this because this is a perfecting one with super duper light, airy feel to it, and you don't get a ton of coverage. So if you're somebody that doesn't like a ton of coverage, you might really like this Tula one. I shouldn't have put it in here, but I messed up. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, it's very pretty. This is a treatment at the same time as being a concealer. And that is why I love the number one that I have picked out here. Tower 28 will completely cover everything. And then it will also have the skin loving ingredients in it. It does self set just a tiny bit. I do find that I'm powdering this. I powder everything anyway, just so you know that that's how I don't get any creasing during the day I powder, but there is something so special about this. This is my second tube and I do not repurchase concealers because I have so many in my arsenal, but I have repurchased Tower 28 and I will continue to repurchase Tower 28. And if they ever change the formula, I think I'm gonna get down on my back and throw a fit like a three-year-old. But it's just that good. Completely covers with such a light touch on how much you need of this. This is one of the best concealers I've ever seen. It's magic in a bot in a little tube. It's just so pretty and you need so very little and it just, it's there all day and it doesn't look bad at the end of the day. This is, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. I have, like I said, two of powders that I want to tell you about. And that is the one size pink powder, it's loose powder. I don't normally like loose powders, but I completely fell in love with this because this is the most uber brightening powder and it's a perfecting powder and I love this stuff. Beautiful delivery system. It is just one of those powders that brightens your whole entire face up, but if you need specific areas to be brightened up, let's just brighten up. Ooh, that's a lot of powder. Let's go into the lid. We'll tap, tap, tap. Then we'll tap, tap, tap on my hand. And then if you need these areas to be brightened up, you know, there's areas where you feel like I need that brightening. I love the formula of it. I love how light it is. I love how blurring it is. This is a fantastic one and especially that brightening factor in it. But if you're somebody that has fallen in love in the past with the Kosas Cloud Set Powder, they came out with their pink one too. And I'm just about as in love with it as I am the one size. Kosas just does powder like a dream. Their powders are that light, airy feel, that no powder powder feel to them. 
really have loved these powders for a long time and when I saw the pink one I'm like oh that's for me now I did have a question about whether or not these pink powders are for somebody that is a warm undertone I would say no but Kosas and the one size both have a peach version of these that would look beautiful and brightening on you that have the warm tones and then of course they have a ton of other colors as well so either one of these are going to be so good for you all right that's it but I do want to say, sneak in really quickly here. I got the Huda Beauty Icy Nude Palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is some of the most interesting formulas. Yes, this is her last one. Yes, this is limited edition. I got to put a tutorial out for you guys so you can see this in action because this is one of the most magnificent formulas she's put out. I just wanted to make sure that I told you that if you've been thinking about that one too, it's got a thumbs up from me. That's everything for today's video about the Sephora VIB sale recommendations. I love you guys so very much. Come back around and see me really soon in my next video, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.